To release the spring tension, use a hook-like tool to pull the anti-reversal latch away from the bevel gear. With a Torx wrench, T-8, remove the gearbox screws. Do not use power tools on the gearbox. Damage will occur. Some tools have different size ratings. You can use an Allen key as well to open the gearbox. When working on the gearbox, please have a clean workspace. A clean gearbox and its environment is a happy gearbox. No need to lose parts and have to buy replacements. Keep the area clean and save money. The spring is now settled, ready for opening. Press on the cylinder and pry the gearbox shell apart. Press up against the spring guide to keep it from flying away. Trigger with spring. The spring fits into the hole inside the trigger. Release tappet plate spring. Without the spring, the BBs will not load into the hop-up chamber. Remove cylinder set. Piston body and head with spring attached. Metal spring guide. The piston head is already ported for better performance out of the box. Air seal nozzle. Version 2 tappet plate. Cylinder and cylinder head. Bevel gear. Proper height of the motor and correct shimming in this gear will last a very long time. Anti-reversal latch. Do not lose the spring. The anti-reversal latch keeps the gears from rolling back. Sector gear. The sector gear pulls the piston back. Spur gear. Six mil metal bushing. The six mil metal bushings are very strong and great for all spring upgrades. With a small Phillips, remove the trigger safety bar. The plastic parts are very snug. Caution, parts may fly. With a clean work area, you will not lose parts. With a small Phillips, remove the wire harness screw. The wire placeholder keeps the wire out of the way of the pinion gear. Sliding trigger contact with spring. Remove screw for cutoff lever. The cutoff lever is responsible for the semi-auto function. Selector plate. Do not lose the spring that interacts with the cutoff lever. With this mess, please do not lose any items. Once you know what part does what, a mess like this will be easy for you to reassemble the gearbox.